Video. This is a 2009 Dodge Ram 1500 with a 5.7 liter Hemi engine in it. It's got five spoke alloy wheels. It has a 390 horsepower, 407 pound torque engine. It is said to do 14 miles per gallon city and 20 miles per gallon highway. It is a solid, reliable vehicle. Check out those dual exhaust. Those are the best. The interior is clean and practical. The dashboard is nice. The interior is fine for its time. That little reverse cam I added on there, which works fine as well for only about $17. There's a kid. Okay, so let's take this beast for a drive. I've had this thing for a year now, so I can tell you all about it. I got this thing, it already had 130,000 miles on it. Now it has about 145,000, 143. I got cut off. Oh my goodness. Well, I changed, got rid of my hat, but I'm still me. Different glasses and everything. So what can I say about this 2009 uh, Dodge Ram 1500, the 5.7 liter V8 engine? The good. This thing is powerful. It's fast and fun to drive. And you can tow a lot. It has like a 9,000 pound tow rating. And I'm sure you can carry a bunch of stuff too. Oh my gosh, where am I going? And I made the wrong turn, oops. Anyhow, so I got distracted by the video. I can't believe it. Okay, so I'll say, think of toe is powerful, it's comfortable, it looks really great. Um, this thing has about 140,000 miles on it now, and it still drives powerful. There is a ticking noise in the engine when I start it up. It lasts for about a minute. I'm not sure what that is, and I don't think I want to get it fixed. I was told that uh, it was the intake manifold, but I was talking to some other mechanics and they said it didn't make any sense. He seems to me it was like a valve lifter, a sticky valve lifter. Um, but I know also the, the exhaust manifold has issues on this vehicle. But it's not so much of a problem at this point where I'm going to do anything about it. So I just keep driving it on. And I uh, had it for a year and the only break, I did have one breakdown, which I guess it was a breakdown. Uh, the gas pedal actually needed to be replaced. And that left me on the side of the road, but I was able to, there's like a limp mode, and I was able to limp mode it back home into uh, to the uh, Dodge dealership where they got it fixed. And that was like 300 blocks. And I got a flat tire, but of course that's not related to the truck. And that was it. That's all I've had, knock on wood. The thing I don't like about it is this thing is thirsty. Ooh, okay. You see, it's supposed to do about, I don't know, 21 miles on the highway and 13 on the city. But uh, I have not seen better than like 17 pure highway miles and doing like 60 miles an hour. Normally on average drive, when I do probably, I would say, I would say 60% highway, 40% like roads, but not like city roads either. They're more like country-ish roads. Like I was just on, um, about 40%. But I'm only getting, if I drive normal, like I just like, like to drive, I might get 14 miles per gallon, 13 or 14. But that's just driving moderately. I don't want to push it up get 12 miles per gallon. So, uh, yeah, it's got power, but it drinks. What else? So, it handles, it's comfortable. It doesn't, it definitely doesn't like handle a windy road well. It doesn't like have that road grip feeling. But it's a truck. But I think, I got a feeling that these shocks are a little soft. Maybe because uh, they're a little old. But there's a lot of body lean. 
when you're going around corners fast. But you know, you don't buy a truck like this for for, uh, for winding roads. You have racing around them anyways. I don't want to drag on, but overall I do like the truck. I think I'm going to keep this truck, but I want to get a smaller car to commute with. Because I'm commuting with this thing and it's costing me at least $50 a week if I just go straight to work and back and not much else. But uh, if I got to fill it twice, then it's so irritating. So I'm trying to get by with one tank. And that's about it. Let's see what else can I tell you about it. It's comfortable, the interior looks nice. I mean, it's an older truck, so I mean, the newer material, the newer ones are much more decked out, but nonetheless, it is nice. So I'll just I'll wrap it up. I just really want to check out my new format. You know it's the front, beginning, that's new. I've done this, this vehicle before. It's more of a test than anything else. But I put it out here just because why not? Let's see if you like the new format. All right. Thanks for watching. I don't even know what our name is anymore. I keep changing it. It might be Paul's Picks, but there's another Paul's Picks out there. But they pick something else. It might be Paul's Auto Picks. Uh, I don't know. Let me know if you have a good idea for a name for the show. My name is Paul, and I review vehicles. So I'm not going to review, well, ultimately, right now I'm reviewing basically anything I can get, get a hand on, just to get my practice in. But ultimately, I want to be able to review, go to dealers, and review cars that I like. Because it wouldn't be fair to me to go to a dealer, borrow one of their cars, and then dog on it. You know, so I'm going to purposely look for cars that I think will have overall a good review. If I'm not, so I, I, unless it's like somebody's car that I borrow, I, I'll probably thrash that one, which is fine, but if I'm gonna go to a dealership, that wouldn't be fair for me to rag on her car. So I'm, not, I'm gonna purposely pick cars that I think at least there's some aspects to that car that I would like. Even though maybe it wouldn't be 100% or maybe not my style, but if there's something about it I like that I think is worth sharing, most likely, to tell you the truth, cars that I'm interested in, I'm going to review. That's, that's the goal. So that's why I was kind of like Paul's Picks, Paul's Auto Picks, something like that. So if you have any good ideas for a name for this page, let me know. I'm definitely open to suggestions. Thanks for watching. Now, whoever my show is called, we'll say with Paul's Picks for now. But hit subscribe. Thanks. Appreciate it.